Finally, finally a company refuses to bend the knee to social justice and political correctness. Let's discuss. Okay, so unless you're living under a rock for the past month or so, or a little bit longer than that, you'll know that there has been a lot of hubbub over the Joker movie here recently. Um, mostly from a lot of politically correct media over, you know, screaming about incels and white men and saying it would cause violence and, and the military warning their people not to go see the movie because they might get shot by virgins. Uh, it, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy what's going on. And I was really hoping really hoping that Warner Brothers would not bend the knee like so many other companies have done. Like so many other companies. Like the developer of of the beach volleyball games for um, or for Dead or Alive. We don't get those here anymore because of SJWs. A lot of companies have bent the knee and made changes because of SGWs. Oh, we had one other that changed their minds recently. That was 3D Realms. That was... That was good. That was good. But what Warner Brothers did... What Warner Brothers did... I, I want to see more of this. I want to see companies like them do more of what Warner Brothers did. So you've had just this this army of journalists, this social justice, politically correct journalists from from media and websites just going completely apeshit over the Joker movie. And Warner Brothers has had enough. So what did they do? They banned all of them from the red carpet premiere of the Joker movie. Every one. And they are completely losing their minds. They are screaming about um, freedom of the press and and this was this isn't right. This is this is wrong. Blah blah blah. Well, you see the, the the thing in the Constitution applying to freedom of the press only pertains to the government, meaning the government cannot suppress the freedom of the press, but a private company. Being, you know, Warner Brothers, if they don't want the press at that event, they are well within their rights to not have the press in that event. They're well within their rights. And so, them banning them for causing all of this hubbub about the movie, you know, in a way, in a way, all, all these SJW journalists and, and I... I find it hard to just call these people journalists because what they are, what they're doing is not journalism. It's activism. It's activism of a, for an ideology, for an agenda that I really disagree with. I seriously disagree. I, I canceled an entire series of Chloe and the Professor talking about this sort of subject because I just don't want to talk about it. It just it made my depression worse just going into it. I really don't want to talk about these people. Now, I don't hate the people themselves, but I hate their agenda. I hate what they believe in. And what they believe in is pure evil. That's plain and simple. Political correctness and all that is just pure evil. Pure evil. If you if you understand where it originally came from, where this stuff, how this stuff was originally used, I mean, to, and I know this will probably get my channel in trouble. It's a socialist agenda. This stuff was used time and again as part of a socialist agenda. It was used before. It was used during the Russian Revolution. It was even used by the Nazi Party. It's a socialist agenda. This whole thing with 
you know, gender rights and social justice and political correctness. We've seen this before in history. And it's no different now than it was then. The only difference is, is now we have the internet. So, I don't agree with their agenda. I don't agree with what they're on all on about. And these people... These people are... Just pawns. Just pawns of a small minority that are pushing this. Because they are... They're victims as much of this as, as we are. They were never allowed to grow up. They are babies in adult bodies, and they were never, they were never taught to know the word no. And Warner Brothers and the director of the Joker movie basically told them no. And I would really like to see more of that. I'd like to see more companies refuse to bend the knee basically tell these people no a and I bet you anything that red carpet event for the Joker movie is going to happen by the time you see this video it probably already has and the sky's not going to fall the world's not going to end because they didn't give in to SJWs they're going to scream they're going to howl they're going to threaten but it's on. The, but in the end, it's only going to help the Joker film, and I think Joker movie's probably going to do pretty well because of all this. It this all this screaming and yelling by these social justice whack jobs is nothing but free advertising for the film, and I think it's actually going to do pretty well. No, whether it's a good movie or not remains to be seen, but people are going to go see it just because of the controversy or the the made up controversy this is why I don't like talking about these people because it just pisses me off it just pisses me off anyway Warner Brothers good do more of this I want to see this again I want to see more of this if you have any more trouble with these people tell them no other companies follow their example if you are being harangued by the social justice politically correct crowd you know these the, the safe space thumb sucking politically correct you know, legions of idiots tell them no don't bend the knee. Don't give in. That's the worst possible thing you could do. Tell them no. The world's not going to end if you tell them no and they start screaming and crying. I've been Mike the Zorch, and thanks for watching. Some Zorch Central content is only available on LBRY at beta.lbry.tv slash at zorch central colon e